I'm investing in my future. We have great career and technical education programs in the Tempe Union High School District. One of our premier programs is the biotechnology. Several years ago, South Mountain Community College came and approached the district about initiating this program in our science curriculum. The students have multiple opportunities to participate in biotechnology in the summer. They have the opportunity to participate in internships. This is an opportunity for students to go out and get real world experience, to take the skills that they've learned in the lab, in school, and see that they're actually employable skills. The other thing about this generation of kids is they're really interested in making changes happen and doing something and, and helping to solve problems in the world. And the, the cool thing about the USDA lab is that they're actually working on problems like water quality issues and growing more food and helping farmers to grow crops where they maybe couldn't before. My project was on the infiltration of water through soil in uh, furrows in Arizona. And what we found was that uh, in the Fort Works equation, which was made by someone in Tucson, the, that same app, uh, well, equation could not be used in the fur, uh, furrows in our area, region, and we were trying to find an equation that could be modified to fit in our region with different soil types. My project dealt with nitrogen emissions by cotton crops at the USDA facility in Maricopa. So we took a look at how different fertilizer applications had an impact on how much nitrogen was emitted once these crops were actually fully grown. Ligus hesperus, or ligus as we call it, is a significant crop insect to Arizona. It affects crops like cotton and alfalfa predominantly. And so my research project was how we deal with these insects by altering their reproductive behavior. Recently, the FDA has released many statements of E. coli outbreak on fresh produce. My research focuses on testing two different medias, TSA plates and uh, petri films, in order to find the best solution to enumerate the E. coli. This summer I worked with a plant called Waiuli, which is a plant that under certain conditions can be manufactured to produce a hypoallergenic latex. This research is important to Arizonans as well as the rest of the world because success would mean putting an end to latex allergies. In addition, it would also provide more jobs to the people of the region that's home to Waiuli, uh, which includes Arizona. I was fortunate to be the faculty mentor one summer at the USDA labs, and this really was a cool experience for me. It helped me to sharpen my biotechnology skills, uh, as well as to uh, put myself in the place of the students so I could experience the kinds of things they'd be asked to do and the kind of expectations that scientists had to make sure my program was adequately preparing students for those kinds of experiences. I worked at the U of A Extension Center, working side by side with summer interns from the Tempe Union High School District encouraging them and guiding them with their research projects. I got great satisfaction in doing research and watching my students blossom at the U of A Mac Labs. The internships are very popular with our students. In fact, I have more students that want to do internships than there are opportunities. So this has been um, really a wonderful addition to our program to help kids see the, the applications of the things that they learn in school. I think one surprising thing I learned from my internship is just how applicable the math that we learn in school it can be used in our lives later. One of the most surprising things I found I learned about myself was that I was really interested in um, the research field in biomedical and biochemical research instead of, because before this I always wanted to be a doctor, just a neurosurgeon. And so it really surprised me how much I enjoyed this field and it maybe made me change my mind of what I want to do in the future. Here at the lab, I found that I was able to sit down at the computer, um, analyze the amounts of like, um, neurotransmitters, and I look up at the clock and three hours would have passed and I was like pleasantly surprised at how much work I could get done and how focused I could be. I would have to say that the biggest surprise for me was finding out how much I really enjoyed working as a research scientist. I've had several students get really interested in, in botany and plant biology and, and things that they would have never thought of if they hadn't had a chance to have this internship. So I have students that are off getting a PhD in plant science at the University of Georgia, students that have majored in you know growing crops and agriculture up in Canada. My kids are always excited. Uh, they come back and, and they recruit other kids to apply. Um, many of them go back in the summers um, all through their college years and, and they use the experiences that they've had at the University of Arizona to get themselves work in labs wherever they go to school. Our students do very well. 
We have over 75 completers last year. That means students who completed the two-year program in biotechnology. And one of those students from Desert Vista scored the highest score in the state. The biotechnology industry is a rapidly growing industry and there will be multiple job opportunities for our students in this area. So this is just such a great opportunity for our students to be able to learn more, to get their foot in the door, to network, and to have real world experiences in the biotechnology field. I'm investing in my future. Investing in my future. Investing in my future. Investing in my future.